To Studio 5, most new moms know the baby blues are a normal response. In fact, 80% of women experience the blues after giving birth. What most people don't know is that postpartum depression can show up anywhere in that first year, and it's crucial to understand the differences. Therapist Kristen Hudson is the owner of The Healing Group, and right out of the gate, you want to emphasize that while motherhood is hard, it doesn't mean you have to suffer as a mom, even no, as a new mom. No, because I will see moms experiencing symptoms, and a lot of people say, well, that's just, that's just motherhood. Motherhood's hard. You're not sleeping. You have a new baby. And while that is true, motherhood's hard. It's the suffering component that I hope to dispel that doesn't have to happen. You're very passionate about this topic. In fact, I hope you don't mind me saying it, it comes yeah. from a personal place. Absolutely. When I had my first baby, I experienced not the blues. It went on more than the first two weeks. Uh -huh. And I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, what is this? And, and you're I, a therapist. A you're therapist. processing the emotions as healthy as you can. And if I couldn't figure out how to get help or what it was, uh -huh. how could all these other moms? And so that's where I created the healing group. That's how it was all born. Well, well, if I can throw out a couple of scenarios, I'll throw out the baby blues and maybe okay. you jump in and tell me when that would cross the line to perhaps postpartum depression where a new mom might need to consider kind of getting some extra help. Absolutely. First scenario, you wonder if you are really cut out for this mothering thing. You feel a little yeah. overwhelmed. That's kind of normal. Totally normal where you're like, oh, I'm not good at this. You don't have your mother confidence yet. It's when that starts to become more of an absolute thought of I'm not cut out for this mothering thing and you start having regular fantasies about leaving your family because they would all be better off without you. And that's happening on a regular basis. That's when you know those thoughts have gone a little bit beyond just baby blues. Absolutely. Next scenario, you're not initially connecting with your baby the way you thought you would. And this is something that moms feel a lot of pressure about, I think. Yeah. They worry about that initial relationship, that initial spark, if I can call it that, mm -hmm. with this new little angel that's coming to their family. Yeah, there's this whole belief that I have this new little baby. I should immediately feel connected and right. love them and motherhood's blissful. And really, if you're a month into it and you're still looking at your baby, I'm like, I don't feel connected towards her I don't even know if I like them I am angry towards this baby uh -huh. that's something more you can be dealing with postpartum anxiety postpartum depression anger is the silent symptom of postpartum depression so anger is a key symptom you should be feeling not just a disconnect but if that anger, anger. kicks in uh -huh. and is a month a good time frame is that about when you should start to really assess where you're at emotionally mm -hmm. yeah I, I would say a month three months six months um, it's any time after those first two to three weeks mm -hmm. is when you need to start checking. I'll see moms that they're like, you know, this isn't postpartum depression. I'm nine months into this thing. I'm like, you're a great candidate, actually. Because it can extend for mm -hmm. several months it does. beyond just that newborn stage. Absolutely. All right, baby blue scenario number three. You haven't showered in three days. You have dried milk on your clothes and you burst. <laughs> we, we're taking kind of a tongue in cheek, not to be this sensitive, but yes. you burst into tears at a moment's notice. This is yeah. very normal, very, you know, just average for the baby blues. I remember crying while watching a commercial eating my cereal. Just being like, oh, <laughs> and then, but it's when you're starting, you haven't, you don't remember the last time you took a shower, you haven't brushed your teeth, and you're crying most of the time every day. Yeah. Where that becomes your new normal. The emotions take over your daily functions, Absolutely. That's not normal mothering. That could be normal symptoms for postpartum depression. And again, is there a time frame with those emotions? Because I know the hormones are still kind of evening out, you yeah. hear, and the emotions are very close to the surface, and you've gone through this great life change. So is there a timeline when those tears should start to dry a little bit, or those emotions? should feel a little more stable? I would say that it's one, how disruptive are these symptoms to your life? Okay. Um, and so if, if that becomes your regular, so the time frame, if this is happening for weeks on end, yeah. maybe consider reaching out for some support and help. And okay. there's lots of ways to do that. You don't have to go to a therapist. You know, there's, there's online support groups, there's great websites, there's a lot of things you can do, just reading articles. Like with any emotional, shall we say, imbalance, mm -hmm. is, is education the first place to start? I mean, yes. you mentioned just reading up on it and, and reaching out to other moms. Yeah. Sometimes that education paired with support can be the can be a great help. Just be able to, to say some of these things you feel out right. loud. Right. I mean, to be able to say, I'm not connecting with my baby and have someone be like, oh, you're not alone. This uh -huh. doesn't mean you're a bad mom. Uh -huh. Can fit, take way off your shoulders immensely. When we were chatting during the commercial break and you said there's this belief that either I'm going to choose to be a good mom or I have postpartum depression and you say right. the two are not mutually exclusive. No, you are a good mom. I, I call it a good enough mom. Yeah. You're a great mom and you can be struggling with postpartum depression. They can go together and sometimes that's a mom's biggest barrier is admitting that she needs some additional support and mm -hmm, help. Mm -hmm. We talked about the emotions leveling out. This next scenario kind of uh -huh. speaks to that. One minute you're smiling at the baby and the next you feel irritated. You have to feed them for the fifth 
sixth time that Absolutely. night. Absolutely. That's totally normal. Yes, where you wake up and you're like, oh, not again. Mm -hmm. It's when anger starts to become so dominating that the things that you could tolerate on a day-to-day -day basis become totally unmanageable, where your husband comes in and you're just annoyed the fact that he even said hi to you. And you, you just become dominated with anger. Mm -hmm. Again, that that's, if there's one thing I could emphasize is that people will say, I'm not depressed, I'm just angry. That is a big symptom. These, these support groups you hold weekly, right? For, uh -huh. for moms who are going through the baby blues, the postpartum depression yes. symptoms. What are those like? Are women able to open up and talk candidly about yeah. this experience? And we invite women that are even experiencing depression or anxiety while they're being pregnant to come in. So pregnancy through postpartum. Is that common? Uh -huh, it yeah. is. A lot of it can start in pregnancy. Um, but again, we chalk it off to, oh, you're just pregnant. It'll alleviate when you have the baby. And it can, uh -huh. but it doesn't always. These groups are warm. You feel validated. You connect with other mothers mothers that are going through it they're they're really casual you can bring your baby yeah they're really nice where can we get more information about so those you can parts? go to the healing um, they're every Wednesday from 1230 to 130 great Kristen thank yeah. you so helpful Thanks. to see those two side by side I think a, a lot of moms will connect with the conversation of just feeling relief knowing they are normal and in that baby yeah. blue category or that they have the now empowerment to get some help outside absolutely of that. Thank, thank you, you. we will be right back